April 30th, 2015 from the iWireless Center in Moline, Illinois. WWE SmackDown. We had Luke Harper versus Ryback. And after the match, Bray Wyatt attacked Ryback. So Ryback had won the match. He hit Luke Harper with the shell shock. He got the pin in the win, and it looked like a, you know Luke Harper might actually get the match. You know uh, he got right back with the super kick. He had him there for the two count, but then he took a little too long going for his finisher when he was going to that big discus clothesline. But right back got him with the meat hook. He got him with the shell shock. He got the pin in the win, and then Bray Wyatt. The lights go out, and here comes the new face of fear. The Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, boom, rock bottom. And then he gets him with Sister Abigail. He says, goodbye, goodbye, right back. And he got him, Sister Abigail. It was awesome. Bray Wyatt is hands down the best wrestler. He's my favorite wrestler. I love Bray Wyatt. He is unbelievable. He's so awesome. It's very cool. He's going after Ryback. I definitely am very excited to see Bray Wyatt and Ryback go at it at payback it's gonna be awesome and Bray Wyatt he's on a whole nother level Bray Wyatt in the ring and on the mic it's just amazing he's a legend uh, I can't say enough good things about Bray Wyatt his character is just on a whole nother level like far and away and I mean right now I think there's a lot of good stuff going on in wrestling especially in WWE and really wrestling in general all across the board but Bray Wyatt, man, he's just so awesome. And the thing that makes him awesome is he transcends your typical, you know, ideas of what is a wrestler and what is success in wrestling. Because we've seen Bray Wyatt, he's gotten a lot of different views, you know, with different wrestlers. But the thing is, a lot of times he'll come out, you know, uh, on the so-called losing end, you know, in terms of the, you know, win and loss column. The thing is, though, Bray Wyatt transcends wins and losses. He's above that. He's beyond that. It's not about wins and losses with Bray Wyatt. You listen to his promos. You listen to what he talks about. And what he is, his character, what he does, Bray Wyatt, is he is an agent of chaos. He stands for chaos, for anarchy, for violence, for reality, for like instinct for animalistic like nature you know it's like Bray Wyatt what he does is he gets inside the other character's head he gets inside their head and he brings out something in them something that they may not have ever known they had inside of them something that maybe they had forgotten that they had whether it be a wrestler who's gone stagnant or maybe it's someone who's coming up who's on the verge of greatness and Bray Wyatt when he feuds with somebody they come out the other side better than they ever were before he takes them to a whole nother level but he brings them closer to his level because it's like when you dance you know in the sun you're gonna shine and that's you know Bray Wyatt man he brings out something in them it takes them to a place like he brings them to the edge he brings out the chaos in them. He brings out the reality. He forces them to stare themselves in the mirror and find out what it is why they're in that wrestling ring to begin with and go all the way and to really fucking put on the show of a lifetime. That's every time Bray Wyatt, man, especially, I'll tell you what, man, on the pay-per-views especially, phew, that motherfucker brings it. He takes it to a whole nother level. He will, all, like, when he's on... Man, it, it's like, you can't forget when you see Bray Wyatt. Like, it's a, he makes memories. That's what Bray Wyatt does. I can only imagine what it must be like to be a kid seeing Bray Wyatt. Man, talk about... Because, <laughs> you know, like, to, to have that be the guy who's actually, like, your introduction to wrestling. Holy cow. I mean, it's... The only thing I compare it to is maybe, like, Jake the Snake... But I mean, I, not to be sacrilegious, but in my opinion, he's even better at ring psychology and Jake the Snake. And Jake the Snake is one of the greatest ring psychologists of all time. So, I mean, that's saying something. Like I said, Bray Wyatt he transcends wins and losses. You know, he don't have to, to win because losing is winning. Because when he's bringing that out 
of that other wrestler. That level of fucking just rawness. You know, that's what it is. WWE Raw. But he is raw. And he brings that out, you know, and takes them to that place. That's him winning. Because that's what he's about. You know what I mean? That's before they were just going through the paces. But he takes them out of that bubble. He takes them to the edge. He takes them to a place that's uncomfortable. A place of greatness. A place where few dare to walk. Where few tread. That's where Bray Wyatt lives. On the edge. So it's for him to lose is him winning. Because that means that he brought something out of that other man. They took him to a place he never been before. They took him to where Bray Wyatt is always at. All right, so Bray Wyatt, as he attacks right back over and over, he's getting all this over on him, but it's to teach him, to take him to the next level, to bring him up. That's Bray, and that's how he, you know, no matter what, he absorbs every loss, and he just is bigger and better. It don't matter, because look at the matches he has. It, it, wins and losses don't mean nothing. That's why Bray Wyatt, like I said, he's one of the greatest ever, in my opinion. And we get, we're so lucky we get to freaking watch him for, God, please, knock on wood, the next 10, 20 years, maybe even 30 years. If we're lucky, you never know. I mean, we're so lucky right now to be able to watch Bray Wyatt, and he's just hitting his prime. I mean, the guy is on fire. He's just amazing. Definitely my favorite wrestler going right now. And the thing is, I mean, he's so good, like, part of me wants him to put the belt on him, but at the same time, it doesn't even matter. I think he would make an excellent, amazing WWE champion. I mean, the guy is so freaking huge. He's so over. If, if it was up to me, I'd put the belt on him. But either way, I can't wait for payback. I thought it was awesome, him attacking right back. I think this feud's pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you thought about my crazy ideas about Bray Wyatt? Do you agree with me? about that do you have your own opinions i'm sure you must he's definitely somebody that inspires lots of different perspectives i mean that's the thing bray white you know that's the thing with the great characters they they allow you to see what you want to see in them you know what i mean you can see and you can see a lot of different things in them so definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions about bray white he's one of the most interesting characters in all of wrestling that there ever has been in my opinion but thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated.